Zach introduces us to a brand new recipe during this week's Lost Creek Rehabilitation and Care Center food segment. Well, thank you, Mark. We are excited indeed to introduce a brand new recipe here on the set today of Faith and Friends. If you're anything like me over the years, you've fallen in love with, our, with what are affectionately known as monster cookies. And that's exactly what we're doing today. It's a that's new recipe. That's your favorite thing in the world, I think. It is one of my favorite <laughs> things in the world, monster cookies. And these are a spinoff of that. These are actually called trail cookies. Oh. And uh, these are, I'm excited. These are, I've personally tasted these. Um, on multiple occasions, and they are phenomenal. They smell good. I've got the finished product yeah. on this side of me. You can't eat them yet. You no. cannot keep my way. those away from you. I, I need milk. I always require milk. With my <laughs> you should have known this. Someone, we need <laughs> someone to grab some milk. But we're going to start with this hurry recipe. Up and bring us some milk. I'm going quickly. to try to do it justice because, little known, this is actually my wife's recipe. And is that weird uh, to say, my wife? <laughs> my newly, yes, new wife <laughs> recipe, and I'm going to try to make her proud here. I'm not the one who typically makes these, so. Oh, wow. Yeah, we'll, we'll give it our but best shot. you are shot the there. expert, so. I'm, I'm pretending to be. <laughs> so, what we're gonna start off with here are three items here, which is our coconut oil or butter, and just. I was gonna say, it looks like butter. Yeah, up front here. Pour this in. Go ahead and, and put that in there. Is that butter then or coconut oil? That's butter right okay. there. The reason I say coconut oil is because my wife, for instance, actually is um, gluten and dairy sensitive. And so that is an option if hmm. maybe you do have a dairy allergy or sensitivity that you can go the coconut oil route as opposed to Lots of health benefits in coconut oil as well. Right. Really is coconut good. oil liquid? So I've seen it in stores and it looks like it's solid. Well, it's, what is it? It's like any, it's, it can be both states. You it heat it up, it'll be liquid. You have so, it so it is like this consistency? It is. It okay. is, it can be, okay. yeah. In the winter time. In the summertime, Summer it, is, melts. it is So melting. moving on, one half cup of that butter or coconut oil, three quarter cup brown sugar, oh, okay. which you have right there, and then three quarter cup sugar, granulated sugar, or cane sugar, if you choose to go that route. And what we're going to do, we're going to cream those three ingredients cream together. Cream them. So Jennifer, would you like to do that there in the bowl? What does it mean to cream it, Zach? Exactly what she's doing right, right here. So you make it out. into cream, kind of? In a well, way. Taking the butter and there's probably some sort of chemical reaction that's happening. You know, so you don't want to melt that. You don't want to melt the butter and then yeah. put the sugar in. You don't that would mess the up butter. the recipe. You would, yes. Okay. So you leave the raw butter in there. Meanwhile, at any point in this, in this, uh, as you're making these cookies, as Jennifer's creaming here, Andy, we'll pretend that you did this. You're very good we're at We're going to prepare oats that we will put in later <laughs> on, and we're preparing the we're oats. preparing oats. Maybe in traditional monster cookie recipes you've seen, you actually put oats in, whole oats whole into the oats? recipe. What we've done here is actually grind the oats up. We did this in a Nutribullet, oh. so you get a, a nice powder there. Um, or if you do have any sort of um, blender or a way to grind the oats up. And just to note, these are rolled oats. They're not the Quake oats. Not the steel rolled. <laughs> not not yeah. the steel, steel, steel cut. Steel like cut. Here. These are rolled Always oats. Mix that up. And so we're gonna pretend, Andy, that while she creamed that, you grinded up the oats, and we're not going to put with those my in. Fork? Yeah. Nice grinder. Not, not with your fork, but we're not going to put those in yet. Those are for later. Keep them away from me. How's that looking? It's not Jennifer? a knife. It's for How keep the think? oats away from you. Looks, it looks good. Okay, so we're going to move on to our next round of ingredients. All right, and that starts with a teaspoon of baking powder and an eighth teaspoon of baking soda. And we've already combined those here. So Jennifer, would you like to put those in? Mm -hmm. No, 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 oh, no, no. Oh, you just ruined the recipe. <laughs> Into the bowl here. We can here. try and save it. <laughs> oh, no. We'll, we'll, we'll leave that. Hold off. Nope. <laughs> I'll skim it right off the top. We're good. We're, oh, no. All is saved. I have ruined the recipe. All is saved. We're OK. All right, there you go. OK. It's been we'll separated. leave it like that. We're going to move on to the now, also in there was an eighth teaspoon of salt. And so that was a teaspoon of baking powder. We might not have quite have an eighth Eighth right teaspoon now, of baking soda and eighth teaspoon of salt. Stop. All right, stop that. <laughs> I'm doing, I'm, it's, Can it's I mix separated. It? Move on not? to the two eggs. Can you handle If you guys like eggs? to eat crack an egg, leave, we'll, we'll mix it in a moment. Crack the eggs. You don't want to crack the eggs? I'm terrible at cracking eggs. I get <laughs> shells every time. Every time shells end up in there. And then Andy, I think you had asked previously what was in this giant Yeah, container. first it looked like, uh, some kind of mush. And it's actually, well, it's peanut butter, right? Uh, it's different consistency than I'm used to. So I think it's natural peanut butter. We're going to go ahead and put Isn't the peanut, peanut butter, butter right inside there. <laughs> and Jennifer, you're going to give this a real good stir to get a nice, consistent texture. 
So she's no longer creaming, now she's stirring. Now she's giving Still it Still just with a fork, so you really now, don't need a lot Now, if you are one of those who have modern day conveniences like a blender or a uh, mixer, <laughs> hand mixer, that would work well at this oh, moment. Oh, now you tell me. Yeah. Okay. Can I add this yet? In a moment, once she's okay. got this nice and mixed up. And so, yes, that's going to be our that base looks like batter there. And you're going to slowly. Smells good. Here's the key, Andy. We're not going <laughs> to jump it all in at once. Right? A little you're at a time. You're trusting me with this. <laughs> and we're going to try to get a nice thick consistency that you typically you see from a cookie a batter. Little more a little at a time, Zach about a third, a third at a time. We're going to be doing this Whoa. for the next Whoa. Sorry. That was overkill. We have a long way to go to prepare you guys <laughs> for the Iron Chef shows. Steel cut flour. Oats. Okay, it looks like the galaxy right now. What galaxy Swirls. are you referring to? Sure. Swirls the, and those I are the said stars. squirrels. <laughs> now add a little more. Yep, a little more. And so that's going to complete your recipe, but then there are additional things if you would like to add to give it some taste that's factor. That's the best part, right? Well, we have, that's right. Well, we have today some favorites, our M&Ms here. You are can those see. the birthday cake M&Ms? Because I've seen these I in stores. I don't think that they are. But no. I've been advised not to try them. But I've, it's birthday cake. These are just your good old-fashioned traditional okay. M&Ms. And then also we've got chocolate chips, which are a must if you are a monster cookie fan or a trail cookie fan in this case. And they're semi-sweet. I sampled them during uh, <laughs> They are semi-sweet. Yeah. All right, go ahead and add the rest of the oats there. You I keep see forgetting it. that's oats. I think it's flour. It looks like that's flour. It's probably oat flour. Really? And so. This is getting tougher to. to no, it smells have, really sure. good. We should have mentioned up front, you're going to go, go ahead and want to preheat your oven, your oven to 350 degrees. Which we have our oven back Which here. We're that going is to pretend preheated. like we do have back here. <laughs> And we do have a final product to show in a moment. How's that looking, Jennifer? It's getting tougher it's to. It's definitely uh, getting thicker. Which I think is probably a component of That's any correct. kind of. That's correct. Smells really good. Yeah, that's correct. Oh, wow. It does smell this very is an good. Workout. And so, Andy, would you like to add the M and M's? Oh, we haven't done that yet. All of them? I'll, I'll go ahead and pour all of those in. That's a lot of M and M's. Are it you is. sure? And some chocolate chips. Whoa. Right. Wow. So they have, they're no longer healthy. <laughs> well, well, you know, you that's know. a relative term. Healthy is. <laughs> Well, you put a couple good things in there, right? That's Eggs right. Eggs and peanut butter and... Yeah. Mmm. Can you eat this cookie batter by itself? I do like cookie well, batter. Well, then I guess we get into the whole raw egg debate, which we don't have time to do no, today. No, I don't right. want to deal with that. <laughs> but we're going to stir our mixture up here. You've got your batter and then, you know, like a typical cookie placement, you know, depending on the size of cookies, Andy, I assume you would want very large yeah. cookies. Yeah, because I, I stay away from the edges. I like the chewy middle. That's right. So you just put them on a glass? Well, typically you would have a baking pan. Oh, cookie sheet. <laughs> okay. This is for transparency reasons what we're using today. And you're going to place these in the oven for 10 to 13 minutes. Start with the 10 and then see how they are. Um, and then you're going to pull them out and for about five minutes, let them sit there and cool on the pan. Mm. And they'll bake a little bit more while they're on the pan. And they'll easily, after that five minute period, come right off the pan and be ready for you to eat, Andy. You've got the final product here. How does that look? Looks wonderful. Am I allowed to eat them? There's the. This is the unbaked. We're gonna go for product. this. We go for ten minutes, and you arrive eat. with our final product. You want it? Right there. I like to break my cookie in half, and then in a quarter. And you eat it like that. There you mm. go. Those are great. How is it, Jennifer? Really good. I did mm. mention that these are. This is a, my wife's recipe, and she does maintain a food blog, Cinderella Cooks. Dot wordpress.com of course you can find this recipe on the website mm. faithandfriends.wtlw.com if you go to the website you can find the recipe and a link to the blog if you mm. want to find out more recipes and again this is gluten and dairy Soft. sensitivity it's so much and better than allergy free. normal normal monster cookies mm. i don't really? like the monster cookies you know that yeah, that's that's this true. Is pretty good it's very good that's true and so we encourage you mm. log on to the website and take a look at the recipe and you can make some of your own trail cookies of your own. Right. So, <laughs> back to you, Mark. 